G'day guys, we're going to try something slightly different today. Um, I'm down at a local bay in Sydney and uh, we're going to try walking the flats with the two-handed rod and see if we can pick up any brim or flathead. Uh, it's very low tide at the moment. I fished here before and um, it usually fishes best on the run out. But today, uh, you know, the, the time of day that it is, uh, we've got the run in, so we'll just, we'll see how we go. It's really low at the moment. I can see a few um, wading birds and uh, seagulls and that sort of thing out there on the flats um, looking for food. So hopefully there'll be some fish looking for food as well. Um, I apologise in advance if the wind makes the audio a little difficult to hear. Uh, there is a bit of a breeze today, but we'll see how we go. Oh yeah, yeah I'm on. <laughs> First cast. It's a little flathead. It's only a little guy. There he is. Not very big. Oh, hang on mate. him and I'm trying not to get spiked here there he goes well uh, not a bad way to start first cast it's only a little guy though this fly um, is a little shrimp pattern and you might be able to see I've tied a little assist hook just in the end there just to see if I can pick up a few more of the brim and so on that might just nip at the tail and not necessarily commit. Anyway, I guess we'll, we'll find out if it works. Ooh, felt like a bite. Well, that wasn't a very graceful cast, but it got it out there, I suppose. Ooh, there's something out there. What was that? That looked quite big. Might have just been a mullet. Something skipping around out there. I don't know whether it's little brim chasing. Oh, that felt like something. Oh, I'm doing not in my running line there. This is usually when a fish strikes. There we go. When you've got a knot in your line, that is. There's stuff moving on the surface out there. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's just mullet or if it's bream or something else. Oh, oh, damn. Had a decent hit. Couldn't say what it was. Whether it was a flatty or a bream or something, I don't know. There's a cormorant or something hunting out there. So there's obviously bait around. So this rod I'm fishing with is the uh, 11 foot 6 4 weight Reddington Trout Spay, Reddington Hydrogen. And um, I'm pretty new to two handed fishing with the spay rod, but I've got to say I, I'm really enjoying it. It's great being able to fairly effortlessly make a cast of, you know, 70 or 75 feet 
without really having any back cast. It's great for sort of covering water on flats like this where you gotta, you wanna make long casts all day and cover the water. Certainly makes it, uh, makes it a lot easier. Apart from the occasional uh, not in your running line, of course. Coming towards me. <laughs> Might be another little flatty, perhaps. What have we got here? Oh no, a little brim. Come on, mate. And there we go. There we go. Got him on the assist hook. Good to know. It's just a little barbless one, pop straight out. Anyway, it's only a tiny little guy. Off you go, mate. Well. There you go. That's a good argument in favor of assist hooks, isn't it? All right, we'll get back out there. Oh, something chasing something out there. Did you see that? Well, that on the surface, that was some sort of a bigger fish. Stop skipping around. Good day, Reg. How are you going? Oh, mate, I've got a... Uh... Oh, hang on. Bugger, I just dropped a fish then. Oh, is that something? No. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, Dropped him. Let's try again. Oh, yes. Oh, yep. I'm on, Reg. Oh. He's not bad, too. Ooh. He ain't got a bit of go. There you go in him. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, 
What have we got here? Is that a little kingy? I got a fairly light tippet on. I've got six pound on, so I don't want to go too hard on this guy. See what he is. What is that? That's a bloody mullet. <laughs> well, wow. that's a hell of a mullet, too. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at the size of him. <sighs> it's a mullet. It's a bloody big one too. Look at that. <laughs> well, that. Definitely the first time I've caught a mullet on a shrimp. And he is a he is a heavy fish. Let me tell you. Look at the girth on him. Jesus. Alright. Let's let this guy go. What was he doing, mate? Wow. That was cool. <laughs> Unexpected, but cool. This is the fly that he took. This little shrimp pattern with a stinger hook in it on the flats. And uh, that wasn't what I was expecting, but great fun. All right, let's get out there again. Well, I hope I catch another one of them. That was good fun. You gave me a good fight. over there. Not sure how it's going yet. Haven't heard anything. Oh felt like a bit of a touch. Oh yes. Oh I think. Oh, he's a slightly better one. a bit of a challenge landing fish with an 11 and a half foot rod and a short landing net sometimes. Whoa, stay in there mate, stay in there. No, nah, flatty. Oh, he's got that right down. I might have to go in and uh, get the pliers to get that one. All right, there he is. A decent little flatty, probably, I don't know, 40 centimeters maybe. All right, let's get the hook out of him. All right, let's let, let this guy go. There he goes, off you go, mate. Come on, keep going, keep going. There, see ya. 
heaps of women. Come on, mate, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hey. Something chasing bait over there. So we're gonna cast over. Wind's just starting to drop a little bit, which is nice. Oh! Pulled the line through my hands that time. That was a good hit. Felt like a brim, that one, I'd say. Had a hit. Brim, I'd say. Felt like a brim. It was just casting at a little disturbance on the water over there. Let's put another one out there. Yep. Oh. Dropped him. Ooh. A bit of a take just then. All right, something chasing fish just there. Let's get a cast into that. hit oh I'm on <laughs> something very 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 tiny <laughs> don't know what that was right, let's get back out there just dropped a little flatty out here it wasn't very big No fly on the end of this. All right. I don't know quite what happened there. Maybe that last little floody bit me off. What's going on here? Yep. Fly no more. All right. Time to tie on a new one. Oh, had a bite. Ooh. Oh, that was a good hit. Felt like a big brim, that one. Oh, 
Yes. Oh. Damn it. Dropped him. I saw him swirling on the surface out there. Hmm. Just put the line over some fish in closer here. Unfortunately, this fly doesn't have the stinger hook on it. The one that I lost before was the only one that I tied with a stinger. But I might do that a little bit more after this. It seemed to work pretty well. It certainly didn't put them off the bite. So there's fish right in here. Right in front of me. Might be just about time to work up into the back of the bay, I think, around the mangroves. Tide's starting to come up now. I imagine the bait and fish would be starting to push up towards that. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, what have we got here? Not a very big one. Here's a brim. Alright, there he is. The yellowfin brim. starting to go down a little bit now so and the tide's starting to get in a little bit more so hopefully the fish might fire up a little bit now we'll see all right let's get back out there Tightened, but I didn't feel him on the end. Well, Raj has just caught a fantastic brim on fly. Look at that. That is a cracker. That's a beauty. Absolute beauty. Well done, mate. I haven't got one that big in for a long, long time. What did you get him on? You get him on the worm fly? No, I cheat. <laughs> ah, I see. You got a little sort of crazy Charlie or something there. No, no, no. Come on, where, where are you? So show the uh, show the camera. Oh, a little, <laughs> soft plastic. little soft plastic tail. Very nice. <laughs> well done, mate. Oh, something chasing bait there. Oh, there's brim right here at my 
my feet. <laughs> Feeding right in front of me. Let's try an overhead cast. There, yeah, that's nice and long. It's essentially a shooting head. Um, what I'm fishing here on the, uh, the spay rod. So you can overhead cast it with a single haul if you want to get a lot of distance. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, yeah, feels like a decent brim. Not huge, but reasonable. Oh no, he's not that big. He was just eager. So that's what it is out there, hunting stuff on the surface. It's these guys. All right, so there we go. Do a little bit of uh, restoration on the fly, get it back in shape. bit of action on the surface but for some reason it's gone a little bit slow you can see all the bait and stuff out there plenty of it around but I'm just not getting bites seem to be little garfish skipping around everywhere here as though something's chasing them I don't know what it is Ooh. Felt like a fairly solid hit. Flatty. Not very big. Oh no, it's a little brim. Huh. <laughs> very small. Yeah. Tiny little guy. Maybe that's why we're not getting bites at the moment, because they're too small. Alright, off you go, mate. Well, Almost dark, just about time for me to knock off. Just have a couple more casts, see how we go. Touch. Tiny little bit. Probably a tiny little brim. Right, last cast. Let's see if we get something. Well, that's it from me today, guys. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoy getting out there with the um, the spay rod, the two-handed rod. It's a lot of fun to cast and, um, you know, I'm very much a beginner when it comes to two-handed casting. Uh, some of my casting is pretty horrible, but <laughs> I still managed to get the fly out there and I still managed to catch fish, which is, you know, the important thing, I suppose. Um, look, if you're thinking about giving two-handed rod to go, I highly recommend it. And fishing the flats like this is a fantastic way to, you know, both get practice with the two-handed rod and to put it to... A good use. Um, I think 
part of the thing with spay rods in Australia has been people have thought, well, what situation would I use it in? What What's the best place um, to use this rod? And I think fishing the flats like this is just a perfect example. You know, you can cover a lot more water with a lot less effort with a two-handed rod than you can with a single-handed rod. Um, yeah, so it's good fun. It's nice, relaxing fishing. Get out and give it a go. We'll see you next time. Thanks.